Right, let's see if this is working. Right, let's see if this is working. Yep, that's working. Do G at minor. Set test. Good, that's working. No. Yes, come on. Find the game. Thank you. Let's just get straight back into this. Oh yes, it's the middle of night. I, uh, I also want to know. Yes. Edit. There we go. Okay. In the list. Stuff, isn't it? No, I know. I didn't go into the Hey, there we go.
There's no orientation. Stack them high, stack them wide.
custom data stuff. At the moment it's going to be repeating. Yeah, that's all repeating. Compile. No, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah, that should work, but it's not. Discord TTS. Okay. 
do underscore gia underscore minor said it is now possible to join multiple LCDs together so they will look and work like single panel. Because of the limitations of text alignment it is only possible to join LCDs up and down, not left to right. So the widest LCD you can have is wide LCD. But you can have many of them under each other to form single big one. You can do that by adding link group number to the name of the LCD. Mm -hmm. Where? Group is your custom name for this group of LCDs. It has nothing to do with in-aim groups of blocks. Just make up some name. Number is position of LCD in array of LCDs. It doesn't matter what number you choose. They just need to go one after another. So the topmost LCD will have the lowest number. For example 1. LCD under it will have 2, etc. Link needs to be in capital letters and there needs to be space between group name and number. Right, okay. That's where I'm going wrong. It's te it's caps sensitive. Of course it's caps sensitive. Right. While you don't see me. Oh yeah. No, okay, no, it needs to be let's just have in in caps and then the No, no, I'm doing that wrong. That needs to, that that needs to be the link. Then the I N. Place two, three, four, five. Let's just do a recompile. Make sure they're all in sync. That's better. That's better. That's more like it. Right. Right then. <laughs> it's expecting 50k of construction components. Long. Scheme codes. Sedio. Hello. I have successfully scripted, or rather, done stuff and done stuff to do things and make them work. Scheme echoes. Said I think my ship is kind of obsolete, aka has too much slow firepower. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm just um, trying to waste a bit of time and I'll just wait for the sun to come back up, honestly, 
because working in on that in the night is a little awkward. Escape codes. Said I tried like five rounds and Gatling guns were the only useful thing. <laughs> Right. Scheme codes. Said well, assault cannons dealt DMG as well, but the reload time ruined it. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Game Echoes. Said TBH if I was to make two custom turrets it shred. <laughs> yeah. Alright. get rid of stuff off of here Game Echoes. Said for a while I was thinking of making a drone based fleet carrier, but it how to script him. <laughs> I know Ardav made a fleet command thingy. Right. Need to do this anyway. around here somewhere He deleted it. Or am I just being as blind as a bat? Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not. He made it a blueprint. Scheme echoes. Said it, but considering how many scripts you have, you may be blind. <laughs> <laughs> I 
was using it on that. Let's just go for the workshop ones. Hit refresh. Now the game realizes. That's better. Let's do that. I can probably get rid of that actually. I do not need that particular thing. That can go away. There we go. Auto miner, that's what I was thinking. Ardav's fleet command. Button, button. Updated twenty twenty. Uh, the old default space thingy. <laughs> yeah. Game Echoes said I was planning to use app. Okay, I've not heard of that before. Game Echoes said more modern. Game Echoes. Mm. Said made by Jirkin, but the issue is he or she didn't make videos how to set up. I'm guessing the videos Skame on the Echoes. workshop are no use. Said and the control module has some jank. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Weapon core edition, gosh. I'm back in twenty twenty still. Ah, someone else. Okay. Is that up to date? No, that's even less up to date. <laughs> How up to date is Pam actually? <sighs> yes, those are a load of miners that work with it. Twenty nineteen. 
slightly more up to date than RDAV. Okay. But yeah, there's a... I think I have a whole save of messing around with RDAV's uh, fleet command. And it's... It still seems like it works. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, get out of there. Aha! I can see. Right. Just trying to remind myself what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I was trying to give this more than one layer of armor, so I was increasing all of the turrets up by one or two blocks, and then I was going to try and armor around. rib or something just for aesthetic. I think what I need to do is make this out of cubes first, then go back and try and add detail, or make it look better, is what I should say. Not like a cube. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to implement all of the armor in all of the spaces. And I think your character got eaten by a wolf. Gamer codes. Said God I wish PPL used the tag no mods when the ship has no mods. <laughs> yeah. Not 
Day Macos. Set or at attack mods. Yeah. This thing's gonna be chunky. Probably severely over engineering this, and one layer of heavy armor would probably do. In fact, to the point of I'm going to need to add more thrusters to get this thing off the ground more than likely. If we manage to get a building system like this in real life, the amount of rapid prototyping that would happen. <laughs> in fact, if we had something like this in real life, every person that plays Space Engineers would probably immediately have a job.
And I'm getting slightly confused with all of these wireframes. Out of plate again. Let's increase that. Because it's going to need it. In fact, let's also do a bit of that as well. Ow. their height and yeah let's, let's have a missile launcher there don't like having a missile launcher over here although that is no uh, have two missile launchers sense of missile launchers because when they hit they delete whatever they hit okay so there's get missile so get get be enough. Let's have... Let's swap the positions of those things because... yeah. Let's have more gats. but it winds me up that that does not point that way.
of free real estate up here. work on this side because I've been not given this side any attention really. Ah uh, yes that's right I was thinking of adding another set of shenanigans up here. Also whilst I remember let's just Increase lifting thrust by a significant amount. Because I am going to need to put some turrets and stuff down here as well. Should be wide enough that is correct. That is now correct. Do I put them lower down? No, I think I lift them up. lift that one up by two so that it can shoot over the front of that Gatling gun. Question is, is that going to clip into the floor? It's tight but I think it works. Four gats on the bottom. That doesn't seem like enough. But hopefully, I should be okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Is a thing. I'm very under defended from the rear.
very underdefended from the rear. I regret my decision to weld this up. I guess I'm just gonna have a weak point at the back there because I can't really be bothered to fix it. I'll fix the easy stuff. lines. 
and then slap a turret down on them. Going from under defended to over defended. is a little exposed, but that's why I used an armoured one. In fact, I could use a full-on armoured one. This one has integrity five nine four zero. Yeah, okay. That one is just straight better. starting to stream. Is this gonna work? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Game codes. Set at time. Okay. What's that? I know. Okay. Ah, oh, it's very though for. Okay. Um, how do you, how would you like to build a ship? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? How a ship I want to build? <laughs> how big is it? <laughs> it's quite big, but it should be planetary capable. But the real question is, does it even have enough hydrogen in it to even escape to planetary velocity, I think? Mm -hmm. Should I project it? Uh, I'm gonna turn off all the burn repairs so it doesn't start immediately building it when it's put in place. Ah, that's a good idea. Just turn it off somewhere over here. I lost my gun. I'm so sad. 
Uh, oh, you yeah. have an antenna right somewhere. Oh, yeah. Which one is the actual projector I need to use? Oh god, I need to rename it. Uh. Well, there's projector small, which is the one that is small grid. I've just built Steve. Steve. Fine. Steve. Steve. My projector, my comrades. I guess you like it. It's. Ah, oh, multiple crits are not supported. <sighs> yeah, did. Paste the ship, what? Nani? Uh. Oh, yeah, that's chonky. It's underground. Yes, I know. Alright, that's. I think I placed the projector wrong. Yeah, I definitely did. Uh. The issue is I don't see if it's if it's correctly placed or not. Uh, are you in a terminal? Yeah. Uh, you can just use build vision. Like uh, you can just. You can just walk up to your projector, hold control. Yeah. I'm currently trying to figure out if it's the underbelly right now or the top. Judging by that fact, this is the top. Big, yeah, the big bulge is the top. Set that to zero. Alright, what's zero on us? How about yaw? Oh, okay, it's up there now. Yep. Uh, is it on the correct side? Yeah, that is. That is. Yeah, that's correct. Downside down. Yeah, yeah, that. Do the hydrogen. So, how bad the ship looks? Would it be a bad idea to print it? I need to grab turret, bottle. Turret controller. It has turret controllers for like two yeah. artillery in the back, but it looks like it didn't print the artillery in the back. Did you have super gridding enabled or disabled? Uh, I don't think super gridding is what you mean, but. I do have a plugin, but it obviously just affects my client. Seems like. Yeah. Projector, multi grid projector is turned on and enabled. So it just affects my client. Ion thrusters at the back. Is it being connected? Oh god, it's through the winter ones. Yeah. And the worst part is I cannot make it go more forward, so. <laughs> goes like that then. Yeah. This goes like that. I think it's a bit. Uh, yeah, let's go that way. Let's reduce the vertical offsets. I think that should be okay. Uh, I would personally prefer it if you moved it up a little bit. Just 
Yeah, just so that I can have the automated ships flying underneath it. Yeah, I don't know how high or low they're currently flying, to be honest. Uh, honestly, not really much higher than... Oh, you, you don't have them set up right now, so you can just change yeah. them later, I guess. Yeah. Uh, should I move it closer to your ship or move it further? Um, honestly, where it is, maybe a little further up, but honestly, where it is sideways, not too bad. I doubt that my ship is going to be getting any wider, but I do not know. I guess I'm gonna try to platform over there then. Uh, late. Light armor. I mean, considering we're gonna fight drones and drones get demolished quite easily, then. Huh? Light armor. I think it has heavy armor in the back where it should have because that's where the hydrogen is. No, I'm checking the blueprint. It's got large mag plate around the hydrogen engines, light armor around the ion engines at the back. Oh, there's a small bit of heavy. Uh, I don't know whether this will fly forwards in atmosphere. Yeah, it's definitely meant to like... Oh, I'm gonna just start holding space as soon as it's basically assembled. connect it to I mean this should look fun uh, I'm gonna paint it some kind of obscure color then it's quite easily noticeable I mean I've just connected it to the front of the ship as well I mean, you could, I could paint that bit black, so it remains wireframe. No, I just painted it like this color, so it's easily to be noticed that this one is meant to be deleted. Okay. Uh, question is how I'm gonna connect it later on, because I need to get some ice into it. Or hydrogen, since this is basically a purely hydro hydrogen based chip. I mean, mine's purely hydrogen based as well. Uh, no, that's a heat vent. What are you looking for? I would, I mean, we could actually have they. Advanced. Right, so where I am, if you just ignore the rotor, you can connect up to it. There's a conveyor port underneath the advanced rotor. Oh yeah, the ship had a lot of ball turrets. Oh, that's an actual bad thing if it doesn't support multi-grading. That is a lot of useless decoys I actually want to see front. if maybe you can print this ship. Like, uh, I'm going to look for the ship in my subscribe list and send it to you. Maybe you can. 
Yeah, you can try. By the way, have you noticed where the ship is from? Not a clue. Did you play Elite Dangerous? Oh. That's a federal corvette. Gosh. Yeah, now that now that you've pointed it out, it's a little more obvious, but okay. Right. Not to be an asshole, just I was wondering if you know you. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. I I thought you were gonna say Halo or something. Honestly, but yeah, okay. I Halo doesn't have that much orange and white on its ships. They're mostly like military green, so they can like op optically camouflage somewhat. Since space is big and dark, they basically use space as an optical camouflage. <laughs> Fine. Right. Uh, blueprints. They go on the ground again. Right. Refresh. Oh, it's not named. Oh, it's the name actually for the current. I was confused. Myself. It's just the fact that I had. I have two Federal Corvettes. One that says it's been abandoned. Yeah. Right. And this ship has like six ball turrets, five artillery turrets, four railgun turrets. Come on. Technically, it's two railgun turrets, but. Keep projection. Oh, it actually worked! Yep, there are bolt turrets. Wait, are they already assembled? Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, they're somewhat assembled. I need to get that script. <laughs> I'm just jealous. Who <laughs> can print out goddamn ships while I can? Like I was constantly debating if I should make my own custom turret ship and then I was like Uh, you have a script, maybe it works then Then I'm gonna use this ship that, already, that is already made What on earth is this? Is this meant to That's be a, a fight? drop pod A drop pod? That's an escape drop pod Fine there's two of them, so we can go both escape for some reason. <laughs> okay. I don't know why we would need to escape that, but that's the thing, I guess. Yeah. Right. Probably if we were to escape, our ship base would already be destroyed at this point, so that's a rollback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just need to figure out how to copy the turrets, and then we can, like, make the space station just filled with those turrets, the ball like, turrets. It's not that hard. Also, uh, uh, project assembler three is going to be building everything that we need for this ship. Nazi skin. It's gonna be. Holy crap, that's 166 gravity components. <laughs> um, yeah. That's a yikes. And I need to, like, do some retrofitting on that ship. Like, I would like to change out the reactors and some doors. So they would be, like, airtighted a bit more better. <laughs> So there's gonna be a small amount of retrofitting in it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the escape pods to be honest, if I should actually change them to something else. The ship has two refineries in it and two assemblers. Right. So 
we do have emergency capabilities, just in case. <laughs> if I were to be lost in space for some reason. Right, I can so build myself can up uh... by grinding stone <laughs> on a goddamn Corvette. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, the real question is, can the battery support the ship long enough that I can get into space? Now that's the real question. Or should we like buddy up with the connectors and just like depend on your ship batteries? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that sounds so nice, but <laughs> I think it would work. I kind of wish there's a system in Space Engineers that, like, if you connect the grids, either the thrusters stop working on that small ship, or they actually, like, actively try to support the big ship. <laughs> Because it's kind of annoying when the small grid is kind of trying to fight your ship while you're trying to fly with it. Yeah, you either have to get into the habit of grouping all of your thrusters together and turning them off, or turning off the dampeners. dampeners yeah. yeah, that's the only method I can use. To be honest, I was thinking. Uh, how big is the hangar area on this ship? I know there's a hangar area in it. Uh, that's a 4 by 5 So I could fit a small mining fighter in it, maybe. Question is, does it have an internal connector here? I think it doesn't. That's an actual problem then. And I need to retrofit the connector somewhere. Uh, because I would like to make it capable of mining, so. Or having like a small fighter that can mine it. I mean, the other way is I'm gonna use the outside connectors on it. And just park the fighter inside of it. And I'm gonna do some like, heavy duty fighting. Hmm. I'm gonna go pick up the piss. Peter, Peter. Go do that. I'm not seeing any batteries on this. Button panel. Blast door, auto cannon, rail gun. Reactors, cameras, hinge. Walls. I'm not seeing batteries on this ship. Oh, small battery, five. Hmm. Those must just be for the turrets. Warfare battery six. Hmm. I mean, I suppose mine only has like four more batteries. This ship after getting some more hydrogen. And the sun is meant to be over there, but it's blooming. Raining.
just turn that off temporarily. Really do with some more stuff. We've got the rain stopped, right? Ah, yes. Now I remember why I was over here. Because the sun's on this side more often, and it makes it easier to look at. sets of armor between there and the hydrogen. That should be enough. Maybe. There's two sets of armor there. This happened to me. Okay. What? I'm just wondering why that song. <laughs> because my cousin was accusing me for some reason. <laughs> Fine. Something that his dad did. A.K.A. my uncle. <laughs> right. Okay then. You know, I might almost be ready to start printing this sh ship. Hmm. Are you gonna remove the blacklist on the black color then, or what? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go around painting the ship. Because the issue is my ship uses the color black as well, so... And I'm not in the mood to repaint anything. <laughs> yeah. So we need to get a new color. I mean, how about green? Nobody uses green. 
Honestly, I just chose black because it's... It's just super easy f to remember just zero, zero, zero. I mean, you have the dark black, I have the dark black, everybody has the dark black, unless they change yeah. it. Which is it, they, the problem now. Yeah. I mean, I suppose I could go for one of the greys. You mean like zero, zero, forty-five? Oh, thirty-five. Oh, wait, that's, that's fifteen for me. Need to get nice. I need a weapon. I'm gonna hunt some wolves. Oh yeah, my ship still exists. Uh, I should destroy that one. Uh, Is there a method to tag a ship that needs to be destroyed? Yes, you paint it this color. Bright flipping red. Oh, oh god. And the building repairs just go norm. I should have moved that ship before <laughs> you did that. It's fine. Uh, if you want to know that color, it's uh, 360, 100, 100. So the opposite of black. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I never knew that the opposite of black is such a vibrant <laughs> red. Admitted I have. Oh wait, this ship actually has really gone to reds. Like the small grid ones. Holy crap. <laughs> This is gonna use so much uranium in its ammo, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What are those other things? Other cannons? Yeah, those are other cannons, okay. At least I found the use to my other cannon ammo that I made. <laughs> the worst part is I need to make an easy script on this ship, maybe as well. Oh wait, you have the auto-crafting mod, right? Yeah, I've got auto-crafting because... <laughs> okay, then I can just tag a crate to a special and just mark that one. Because I have a, like, a quite literally a special ammo compartment hidden in this ship. Because if ammo gets blown up as well... Yeah... Ship go boom. You knew us, right? Yeah. Okay. I was just mentioning it, just in case. <laughs> Are you sure your ship even will fly? I have no idea. But that's sort of why I've got this blank space, so that if I need to add more thrusters, I can just add more thrusters, you know? Oh yeah, I forgot oh. to grab a weapon. Master Chief is on the soda. By the way, I was wondering, uh, should we have a ship dedicated to grinding? Because we're gonna have like a lot of yes. stuff to grind. We probably should. We probably should. But that's. I wish they didn't retexture the rifle to a. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Should have added the sniper rifle. I'm actually wondering 
is your is it your so to say first time playing this scenario or what? Uh, it's not the first time playing it. I have played it with a couple other friends before, but those other friends sort of stopped playing oh. Space Engineers and then the game got corrupted and never went back to it. Whoa. It's a yikes. Yeah. Wait, I already have four deaths. Oh yeah, that was because I died on offline. I think the weird... Didn't I jump into a cockpit last time? Like, quite... Or no? Uh... I don't know. I also do not know if they fixed the uh, cryo bay bug. If oh, they... I see you died as well at some point. Yeah, my death was uh, a little stupid in the fact that I was not paying any attention to where I was going and smacked into the back of my ship. Save me! I don't what have... are you doing? Yeah, why... We don't have any ammo for the screws. Why is this not... Hello? Target enemies on. Target characters on. Use conveyor system off. Uh, that shouldn't be. Fairly sure I saw that. Yeah, use conveyor system is off. Is it disable it? Shouldn't have done. Might be possible because it's a custom turret or show the same model turret, but that's an odd behavior. I have never seen that one. Choice to me, actually. Nice. We don't have any eyes. Serious? Well, let oh, you're search right. for ice, and there's none. You're right. Go, miner, go! <laughs> yeah, quite. Uh, which one was it? Oh gosh, I can't remember which miner. <laughs> I think it was this one. So I'm gonna just... One, it's either a horse miner or a pan miner. <laughs> or Wurt. Oh wait, Wurt has a job done. Wait, one of the miners has a job post and the other ones have done. Oh, that's the one that didn't have a job active. Alright, so that one should go get some ice. Ice, ice, baby. I'm also going to leave the spectator there so that when it comes back I can watch and see if it clips through the ship. I got like nothing else better to do anyways. <laughs> right, okay. Gosh damn. I am very tempted to increase the day length so that it is two hour hours of daylight rather than just one. I don't know why, but I was thinking of just testing making an AI bot that can, like, just follow you. 
and spotlights. <laughs> that 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 is that is a possibility. I I do have a script that can do that. I think even the basic remote block has that kind of functionality. Uh, not at the moment. We'll do this coming Thursday. I think. I'm amazed you don't even know what what is. I think you're making your ship kind of front faced as well. I have plastered guns all over the place. <laughs> you have plastered heavy armor everywhere as well. It's gonna be a very slow slob. Yeah. Did you put any large charges in it? Because when I placed it in a heavy Paris class frigate, that ship was so long, even for large gyroscopes with all modules attached, couldn't move it. Hmm. I mean, that Paris class looks like a goddamn super cruiser, but I don't know. At least the size was of a super cruiser. Okay. And that Paris class had so many issues when I tried to fix it. Basically gave up at some point and just that uh, I mean it used like old turrets and stuff, so it needed a lot of retrofitting. I think the ship is a lot easier to retrofit. I mean it has less Space for the space for the retrofits, but it doesn't have a lot of empty space. And thanks to you, we can use like the so to say Paul Tourette's on it. So. <laughs> yeah. I think Paul Tourette's sorry. Rather, anyways, compared to all of the weapons in game, and the ship is incoming. Uh. Ooh, it would be close. Should I move it more to the left? Uh, if I put my character from what I saw, it looks like it sort of came in like underneath the uh, the pads here. What are those pads actually? Those are just landing pads. Oh, I thought they were some landing medic pads, so. No, they're just large mag. They're basically just landing gear. Yeah, that's the issue because if it flies under it, it's gonna attach to the ship. <laughs> yeah. That's if they've got auto lock on. God bless you, Fee. Uh, can I change? No, I can't change them yet. Yeah, I can't change anything at the moment because it's still just a ghost. Oh yeah, you want to know something very cool about this ship? Go on. You cannot use those turrets as AI because they need to actually be lifted up to be able to be used. And they look so sick when they come up. I want to show you so much when it's finished. <laughs> Come on, Pam Miner. Oh, it even pasted in the tripods. Alright, that thing's on the move. Ow! <laughs> I deserve that. Oh, you died, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was directly in the path of the Pam Miner. <laughs> 
I noticed I was pushed, but I, did, I was like, what? Why did you? Ah, I went and I'm like, oh. There's a corpse near me. Yeah. I wonder who is at fault. <laughs> was it me googling at my own ship or <laughs> you? Alright, so. At some point I need to land one of your miners so I can have like direct ice mining for it. <laughs> so, judging by the fact that I got killed right here, <laughs> yeah, th this is this is about where it goes. So, yeah, it might need to go up a block <laughs> again. Let's do it like three at this point then. Mm, I'm gonna remove this cluster and for the video and this here. Mm. That just doesn't look right. <laughs> that looks like it should have way more guns up there. Yeah, I've also currently turned off the belt and repairs for building projections. Just so that we can get the resources and stuff built preemptively. How far is it actually? Or did you, did you change the name of it? Oh, projector one. Oh god. We kind of have an issue. Oh. It requires 7.6k thruster components, aka 1.2. Uh huh. It's gonna take like 1000 platinum. Um. Well, God, a better hope. I hope that the hydrogen can get us to space. Because if not, then we need to do it like your ship is gonna go to space, start mining for a little bit of platinum, and come back so I could even... I mean, I don't need ions on ground, but... I think that ship doesn't have an inbuilt projector. Yeah, we're gonna need like... Gosh, a stupid amount just for the... Okay, Izzy, I'm gonna turn you off. I have a feeling that ship actually uses heavy armor somewhere, considering the amount of heavy plates. Yeah. Right, Izzy has been turned off because it was not helping whatsoever. Gosh. You know what, let's 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 have it build some of the small stuff first, like the the girders, the displays, the the, the I think we need to add more support assemblers for it. Because it's gonna take an entire day to build all of those components for one ship. And your ship needs components as well, so... Yeah... Yeah, I think I will just build extra... ...things on top of these. gonna be here for the entire day if it's gonna continue. Cooperative mode on. And I would like to be in space when the AI update at least releases. Same. Just 
Did I add speed modules to them? Yeah, I was just quickly naming them. By the way, does the heavy speed modules actually increase it more? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I think it's just designed to uh, be a speed module but with a different look. Like, if I actually pull out the... In fact, I can just do that. And that. What are we short on? Computers. But yes, I have put the DLC and the uh, mod heavy assembler here. <laughs> I have put like the heavy speed module. Where is the mod from? Uh, heavy. Yeah. That's from industrial engineers. Mm-hmm. Just gonna quickly inventory is a set of industrial themed upgrade modules, these cost more than vanilla and have double output or vanilla might need be balanced later. Oh. Excuse me. So supposedly it's actually faster. Mm. Okay. That's according to the web page, but they may have changed it. Just frozen. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Back. Don't know what it was doing, but yeah. It That's... was not happy. We need more silicon. Silicon? Yeah. We we are out of silicon. We should go kill some rocks. <laughs> Do you... Oh, I see you built a couple of refiners. Yeah. Do you have like a silicon deposit nearby or what? That's what I was just checking. Max... Uh, in fact, if that's 700... Yeah, we Do got... Do we even have an ore detector here? Oh, it's... Me. Yeah, I just haven't turned it on to... Broadcast. That's the small ship version. How big is the large ship version? Let's build one of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Detect components three. I swear someone might be trying to join.
quickly build them. Alright. Five hundred. One thousand. That's nice. Alright. Good enough. Oh god, I'm lagging. What the hell out? I should close the stream, maybe that's helped. No, I think it's I'm I think it's because I'm lagging and it's probably the ore detector. Internet or did you? Oh, no, I'm much. still going. I briefly saw something in the center of my screen, which usually indicates someone trying to join. I don't there. have anybody in my friend list playing space engineers. Yeah. Just in case, I'm going to... Private? that. Two of two. That should kick anybody out if they were trying to join. of the cockpit. Uh. Point four sim speed. My ping is non-existent. Yeah, no, I think this is my end. I think somebody's downloading something with your internet. This is it's a possibility. Oh, but I'm like waiting on my ship anyway, so. And you clearly don't need to pay enemies right now. But. I would still wonder what is going on. Let me just try uh, open task manager, see if see if Space Engineers has developed a memory leak. No? Maybe? I think quick restart should fix it. Yeah. I just left. I'm gonna check some community guides meanwhile. Oof, excuse me clonking.
Hmm. Pressing backspace enables you to respawn. <laughs> yeah. The med bay is not to be used as a teleporter. Still not. Inventory is many consider changing the game set. No matter how far you go, that will never You seem to be overwhelmed. Have you considered the hard inventory DLC? Warning. Please check inventory for extraneous tools. Engineer. A still plate cannot be up to your inventory. It's the assemblers. Wait, you know what? Let's just do. Turn the base off. What? I said. Turn it off. No station view. Yes, I'm aware, Karen. That didn't help. Okay. Projector, that's the other thing that normally... Turn that off. That did not help at all. Okay, let's try a complete Space Engineers restart. Exit to menu and load the game back up. Right, wait for it to say that I am no longer in Space Engineers. Come on. Did Space Engineers have an update? Maybe that's why the game all of a sudden started lagging. Did it have an update? Oh, it completed... But that's workshop content for me at least. Hmm. Interesting.
Load game. time you have too much fuel is when you're on fire. Yeah. That is true. Or when you have the mod that makes gas too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Epinac. I kind of wish to make an orbital station on Space Engineers, but it's like one of the most impractical things ever to make. <laughs> Using the real orbits mod. Maybe then, but... Or especially with the aerodynamics mod, then you don't need to like fly exactly, so you could escape the... Velocity. I keep getting the space engineer. The I keep getting the space engineer's equivalent of the USB unplugged sound. Oh, that's a bad thing, maybe. And. That has not made a difference. Okay. So the only other thing that I can think of is that it is the PAM miner. Yeah, but it didn't have that kind of an issue before. No. What if you turn off my projector? I've already done that. Oh. I've also now just pressed the stop command on the PAM, see if that makes any difference. I think we need a dedicated host at this point. Let's just do a whole... <sighs> turn it off completely. Today, never surrender and I was falling through the floor. That one's turned off. one of the culprits. Just straight remove you. Okay, let's also go distance from players. Okay, no, that's that's 
that's all fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Container. Even the admin menu is lagging. No, that's fine. I need to rename that. It's acting like there's something clipping into the ground. But this list is too small. CPU load is hovering around two to three hundred percent. In fact, it's, it's acting like it's lost internet connection. I'm still here and I'm still streaming so I definitely have internet Space engineers. Maybe it's the weather? I'm at a complete loss. 
but effectively Space Engineers has decided it wants to do not quite one FPS but okay the only other thing I can think of turning off is the other script I've got oh yeah just all of the scripts game's just locked up. Oh. The only reason I can tell is because of the yellow text disappearing. That's literally why I play with that on all of the time. <laughs> For these weird situations where the game just... Can I try hosting? Sorry? Can I try hosting? Maybe it works on me. That actually... Yeah. That actually doesn't fix the issue because then I need to be online when you're kind of start streaming. Yeah. Um. Is there a free provider on Space Engineers? Before we're gonna actually try something insane. This is worse than when I first got Space Engineers. Okay, you've already turned it off, I think. Yeah. Okay, you did. Good. That's alright, managed to get it. Everything. Turn them off. No, nope, that didn't help. Um, the only other thing is refineries and assemblers. 
Do you know a site called GTX Gaming? Uh, I've I've kind of heard of them. Uh, that site has a so to say inbuilt ping tester. I was wondering to know if how high is your German your London ping over there because if it's like maybe below 50 with Germany in it then I would actually start the host at Germany then then I'm gonna try to send you access somehow I, I need your email then I guess you can make a separate email if you want to yeah. Game's frozen again. Sadly, I don't have a separate PC, so I could host like a dedicated one over there, but. of having a CPU priority on the CPU that has 4.2 gigahertz and 6 cores okay. sometimes you gotta hit your end it, it's just space engineers being space engineers there's nothing else I can do I'm pretty sure the refineries are all turned off or not, don't have anything. to play on a pretty much a slideshow but I don't want to go back to it please Keen okay I do not have auto save on so let's try some other extreme First, let's try removing all of the NPC stations. That didn't help. Why do I feel like this is effectively a corrupted save now? Mm, we have one thing we can technically do. 
What's that? Copy the entire base, make a new save. Yeah, that is a possibility. Uh, I've got task manager open still. Mm. I mean, I don't think it's a memory leak because mm. that isn't moving, but. That's quite odd, it's just, just a flat line to be honest. Yeah. Space engineers have a maximum RAM limit. I have no idea anymore. I mean, I know that pre on previous occasions it has had memory leaks, which can cause similar behavior. You compared to me don't use as many chunks in so my ships don't even exist so <laughs> hmm? Okay so I've just deleted the entire base. Yo and it's it, it's it's gone back to normal. Well, 31 FPS doesn't look normal. Well, uh, put it like this it's no longer being soupy. Create new from clipboard just in case. True, but it's still like. I don't think 31 is still normal. <laughs> Something else is going on. I mean. The mod is acting up. But I don't know how to check if it's acting up or not. Unlike Factory, I don't think this game has, so to say, testing things for the mods. Mm. Because on Factory, when you like look for the, so to say, ping time. You can see like what uses how much so to say UPS on the server. I mean if you want I can just go quickly make a completely In fact I'm gonna do that anyway. I mean you can try but it's just Holy crap then. exit to menu <laughs> no Let's just go new game custom 
empty advanced oh god what mods did we have on <laughs> oh, I'm just doing this to I'm I'm just sort of Yeah. Asteroids nothing that's Do you have your FPS limited to thirty? Uh I don't think so. Because for some reason in the top left it's still thirty. Forty, fifty, sixty. Ah, I guess that's the menu one. Yeah. And let's just planets, Earth-like, something like that. No, I guess my FPS just goes 30 when on a planet or something. Because this is a completely empty world with just the Earth-like in. And it's just sitting at 30. Hmm, that's not normal. Unless your CPU is kind of dying. What CPU do you actually have? Uh, that one. Uh, that's, uh, oh, 96. Yeah, oh. that may be a bit weaker. And now that I'm not tabbed into the game, it's saying 60. Supposedly I may have like an 8% advantage. I like the fact that you have a weaker CPU than I have, but you have a better GPU. <laughs> yeah. At the time when I bought it, it was not the best, but it was like the second or third best. Holy crap, your CPU is actually over talking right now. Okay. Base speed is 3.6 and it's currently like at 4. Hmm, okay. Well, I did not do any overclocking myself because this was I guess that's the inbuilt yeah. overclocking then. Yeah. But still it's kind of funny because the usage isn't that high but the FPS is still funny. Something being limited in space engineers itself. Do you have the game on maximum settings? Graphically. Yeah. No, not really. 
Lord. Oh yeah. If I turn all of that on. And I don't know. Okay, move over to here. Twitch is not going to like this or YouTube. Oh, you're recording at the same time while you're streaming? No, I just upload the streams afterwards. But oh. Yeah, I can t I can see on my other monitor that that is going absolutely pixelated as heck. Just just walking through the grass. Which is just, that. Yeah. It's still kind of weird that you're playing on 1080p, but the stream is like some odd resolution. No, even that the stream doesn't like. Either way, I don't actually like the grass texture, which is why I turn that all off. That did not save. Go away. Positions in your still single core, single thread operating. Uh, not a clue. believe as well that if I was actually streaming at full 1080p the compression and artifacting whilst me running through the grass would be a lot worse believe it or not uh, oh shit that's wrong game I'm gonna try to. I wish this was the same when you left sitting and maybe you try to hop on. Okay. I'm currently hosting. To be honest, I was actually wondering if you have kind of normal FP or like ping as well if you were to join. Uh, do you want me to try and join you or something? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, currently it's one yellow, but I don't think it affects that much. How? <laughs> How do you see the um, FPS counter, by the way? Uh, shift F11. FPS is 61, UPS is 60, SIM is 1.0.2 Red load is 28% I think the only issue I'm gonna have is my GPU if anything Yeah, this one seems to... This one's working. Something bug out? Meanwhile, we Maybe fine. it was that. You mean the death counter mod? Yeah. Possible. Gonna disable the mountain. Uh, I'm gonna try joining you, see if that does. Uh, you left, okay. Yeah, but well, you were going to disable the mod. I'm gonna re return that then. Okay. Oh, well, luckily the load troops aren't that bad. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. Ping of 77. Ah, that's not any better than I have actually. And I don't have any mods. Doesn't feel too bad though. Very obvious you don't have mods. Ow, my ears. Oh. It's fine, it's Space Engineer's default sound. Yeah. I, I would not know I was playing on a on a hosted game right now. I guess then trying to host a German you wouldn't be any worse then. Yeah. Still probably have a dedicated data center. Uh Death counter. 
How big of a rollback is that? Uh, I think I took a save just as the shenanigans started happening. Oh. oh I really shouldn't care anyways. Like, for me it isn't that bad because <laughs> I just had a ship that I took from the workshop. Hmm. Which one is this? That guy is not available. That's... I mean, we don't need both of the death counters to be honest. Like, no, right? Okay, because for me, like, the death counter is kind of useless because I really don't care because I'm gonna die anyways when I go offline. The alternative, actually, can try that. What? Can try to delete and repaste the base. Ah, uh, true. That's what I basically meant by making new savers. Yeah. That actually implies that you need to remember all of the mods and what settings you have enabled. Mm, yeah. I mean, that's also why I loaded up the solo version to see if that one would still work and then just sort of. Because if that one works, then I could just sort of project it. Natural. I mean, there can be the possibility of the cooperative mode maybe messing up something. Because I usually never use the Space Engineer's normal cooperative mode, I use the easy one. Mm hmm? When I requested like 1000 plates, it actually like shared it out, not just oh, I'm gonna give you 10 plates, you keep 10 plates. Yeah, okay, this still seems a bit shenaniganry, judging by the sim speed changing, stopping, changing, stopping. Oh my. It's a bit more. A bit more responsive, he says, as the game freezes. death counter from down there that LCD death counter but we don't didn't remove the other one even powering down the entire ship nothing kind of worked oh oh no man interesting Please delete the station and paste it Interesting. Okay, so I, I managed to remember the keybind that depowers everything connected to the to the ship. Yep. 
Yeah, let's just try powering up. It's why. Yeah, I'm aware. No, it... But the depower everything that's connected at the same time is control Y. Oh. So like, that's turned off. And so it's like all the four. <laughs> mm, kinda. Right, let's try turning this on. Interesting. Is there an issue with the single or minor? Oh? No, I think I know what it is. And I don't like it. Try turning those off. Maybe it's turned off all lights. No, that didn't. That's still... Are you checked or something? No. No fuel. Okay, this one. Oh yeah, this one's still got. No fuel. This one's still got Pam doing shit with it. Confused. Okay, let's try doing something along. That maybe. Can you go to the control panel on your PC? No fuel. Uh, yeah. What do you... Do you know the power options? Uh... Yeah. Uh... What is it on? Balanced. Can you try high performance? Mm. Ah, there it is. Actually, what is weird is you don't have the AMD version of Balanced. Because with AMD there should be a Balanced version made for AMD. <laughs> oh wait, I don't even have it anymore. Weird. I will try with high performance, maybe that fixes it. No, that doesn't work. Um, hold on. A still plate cannot be empty on the inventory. You seem to be never learning. Have you considered the hard inventory DLC? Inventory is full. Maybe consider changing things then. No matter how far you flow, that will be there. You seem to be overloading. Have you considered a This engineer doesn't use all cores fully, it doesn't even use one core fully, it's just not optimized for multiplier. Ah, I guess we gotta hope when they make space engineers too that they fix this kind of issue. <laughs> Hmm. I, I don't get it. No fuel. No fuel.
Marjorie wants to turn them off. No fuel. No, that didn't make a rat's ass of difference. Okay, let's just try disconnecting that from the piping network. No fuel. That doesn't make a difference. Okay, let's just try completely. How are we done and disconnect from the entire system? Sorry? No, oh, I was like wondering if you have like power on a rover and just disconnect from the base. I mean, I can power on the rover like this with no problem. Yeah, disconnect. It is. Like with the connector? It is. Oh. That's just proximity. You can see it down here, it says proximity rather than looks normal, so something is wrong with everything being connected to one grid, I guess. Yeah, something is... Right, let's, let's... Maybe something is wrong with the station itself. Try deleting that particular block. And... It actually kind of chilled down. Yeah, because I disconnected oh. the connector again. Like if I currently locked to the base, oh God. it's not happy. Unlock, and everything comes fine. Something's wrong with the station itself. Yeah, that is... <sighs> is it the amount of building repairs? Alright, let's just try... Building repairs. Turn off. All of the assemblers turn off. Refineries, you have nothing to do, turn off. Uh, H2O? Yeah. O2, turn off. All of the programmable blocks turn off. All of the projectors turn off. No. Something's something's still not happy. But at least I can have the light. thing is conveyor sorters drain all turn off <sighs> no, no. the station. Is it the fact that I added cryopods? Just I'm not gonna save this particular No. 
Is it the stupid amount of wind turbines? Oh no, anyway. LCDs. No. <sighs> Is it that thing? See that. <laughs> Just I don't know, slap that over there. sunlight. getting called for food.
I will systematically remove everything from this base until it works. Let's just try disconnecting. Oh yeah, that's also... Oh, that's a really bad place. Trash removal... Uh, maybe check the file integrity. Sorry? Check the file integrity on Steam. I wouldn't expect that to... Oh, hey, up. Disconnect. Okay, let's just try... Okay, so it's something to do with the production area, maybe. Then we don't have any production. Yeah. You lost the production area? I deleted the production area. And I can turn shit back on. I guess we had too many stuff making in that one assembler at the same time. Possible. Possible. Let's Cause maybe making like 50k plates isn't a good idea. Yeah. Actually, that wasn't even 50k. That was like maybe like 100k. Hmm. Right. And I hope that's the issue because if it's not, then. We're gonna have a lot of issues. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it is as simple as just uh, remove the queue. That's why I used the nanite mouse because it actually. Yeah, but this is. Used for itself. Hmm. Technically, I can get the burn repairs to do that, or do something similar. In fact, no, there is just a straight up way for burn repairs to... I mean, if the next time this happens again, I'm probably gonna choose to rent a at this point. <laughs> then we can just have a 24-7 running server as well, so we can just... Do something. <laughs> Have the miners do something while we're offline. Yeah. Right. Getting ready to control Y to depower everything. Just when the AI updates releases, I'm definitely gonna rent one. Because I want to invite one of my friends to play. The updates. Okay. Huh. That's hmm. all in the one manual assembler. Yeah. Holy crap. That's in one of the co op assemblers. You might actually be onto something, because when I've clicked on the assembler projector, the game has frozen. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. So... Yeah. And, okay, right, I need to get clicking. <laughs> it's it's still kind of frozen. Yeah, I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> so maybe this assembler encountered a 
stack overflow or something. Holy crap, that's a 9,000. You saw 9,000? 9,400 server load. <laughs> Gosh, okay, now I, need, now I need to know what Task Manager is doing. It's not. Task Manager's not actually doing that much. Yeah, because this game is, like, using usually only one single core and maybe multiple threads, that's all. Hmm. Oh, I can feel the lag. Hmm. <sighs> maybe... Assemble the entire blueprint was a bad idea, just <laughs> yeah. have easy to some like amount of stuff and that's all. Wait for that to update. Yeah, I I'm, I'm basically playing whack a mole but with assembler queue. There's no idea of coming in as well. I mean, it worked perfectly before, but it started going insane when we added uh, other assemblers. <laughs> one time that one, my idea kind of ruined the game. <laughs> Is that 16k? Gosh. Oops. I didn't mean to grieve like that, but. Why? Don't get up on the table! Okay, get, go get your food. <laughs> Technically, I could ask you to do this. Like, if I just. I can try to do this, but. Yeah. Let me try, and I'm gonna go check. In fact, if I just, just unlock un that, just unplug everything. <laughs> there we go. You now have a spawn point. We both have a spawn point. Right. I will. Sit in the rover. And sacrifice myself. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I will turn that off. If it crashes you to desktop or something, that it crashes me to desktop compared to you because I have a <laughs> bit better CPU than you, and I'm not streaming. <laughs> yeah. Unless Firefox decides to be an asshole. <laughs> Alright, I will... I will be right back. Don't hurt yourself. Oh... <laughs> oh no. Even I got the next spike. What did you say? Oh, I know what is going on.
Oh no. I'm done. <laughs> mm.
I have returned. I made a great mistake. Oh. I crossed my game. Ah, oh, okay. I decided maybe I could add a script. To try and do it for you? Yes. <laughs> but because you didn't disable power on that one assembler, as soon as I added power to the base, it almost crashed my game. Right. So I tried to disable power from the assembler and that crashed my game. Right, okay. Let's just go through all of the co-op ones. Just trying to just disassemble the entire assembler. <laughs> yeah, that would work as well, I guess. I just need to figure out which assembler that is without using the control thing because that will probably lag out my game as well. Speaking of which, yep. this this one particular co-op assembler is um Yeah. No that never touch cooperative mode, especially in vanilla. <laughs> I don't think That's why I used this it's because it didn't mess up like that. I noticed how many stuff it was actually trying to make. It was insane, it was like trying to make two power cells every ten times. So there were like maybe like two hundred power cells queued. 100 times and my game's paused yeah it will be because I'm cleaning out assembler 16 co-op which appears to be the first one that I put down and put into cooperative mode yikes I think it's easier to just leave it and start cranking down. Yeah. How to self never queue too many stuff and especially enable cooperative mode. I don't think it's the cooperative mode, I think it's just the pure amount of stuff. No, like before it didn't go that path, but as soon as we enabled cooperative mode, it went insane. Uh. I mean, that's why most servers have, like, rules about maybe two or three assemblers per faction. Oh, hey, I'm streaming in. Have a bang up. Alright, but. You need to enable build and repair then and enable power. Yeah. Which will lead to chaos. Let's just turn off all. Who? Oh. There we go. Okay, even highlighting it in the menu makes it a problem. Alright. Oh uh, man. Why is there so much scramble in this one symbol? What the fuck? Uh, warning. Enabling base build and repairs. Go eat it. Eat it. Quickly. Exceeding speed and watch each other than the assembler. Yeah, that's, I I did that just to, yeah. All right. You forgot. There's more. 
I couldn't get to them with the paint. Oh god, this is the one that is the... Yep. Oh no! <laughs> right, let me just paint that one. No, I'm doomed. Turn on building repairs. Come on, and it's gone. Right. We are safe. Maybe. Maybe we should er eradicate every <laughs> one in one. <laughs> Uh, Is that the, all of the assemblers we had? That, that was all of the extra assemblers. Oh, okay, I'm back. How's the UPS now then? Updates per second is 60. Okay. Seems speed looks fine. Alright, let's just do a... Next time I'm gonna get an actual server for this kind of not case of a job. Honestly, I think an actual server might, like that, might have actually crashed a proper server. Probably. Either that, or the server would have, yeah, kicked us out. Or... I'm actually amazed there isn't like active production limits in this game. Because. What was going on wasn't... We were crafting too much at one location. We were crafting like spaced out components. So we're like crafting... It may say we were crafting like 10k steel plates. But we were crafting 10k steel plates at 1k different separate times so to say. So as soon as you opened the main, you were you were basically reaching the integer limit. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. I think that was an actual vanilla issue itself, then. Probably if we you'd use DC instead of the corporate mod, that would have gone differently. <laughs> Who knows? Because DC somehow knows how to do it better. Did yeah. you... Oh yeah, you did. Oh, this is to say where you didn't attach the ship. Yeah. So, basically let all the crafter craft us all of the components that we need. It. Yeah, I mean, I am going to... Actually, I'm going to... Get two auto-crafters going. I mean, set the ones that you just built to other crafting as well. Automatic LCD is still booting up. Is there an issue? Oh yeah, I know why there's an issue. My fault. Uh, oh, that's it's, fixed. It, oh, it's, it's turned off. Yeah, it's because this particular LCD doesn't actually have anything on it. No, let's just. There we go. I misspelled it. I'm gonna do it myself then. But yeah, you you put you put a command into the custom data, and yeah. Only one bar of information got them. <laughs> also, um, yeah, we can now see. All of this. I know that there's a way to disable, like, how to, if if we see stuff, because I I want to. I kind of want to disable hydrogen and oxygen bottles because, yeah. 
I basically just want to stop it scrolling. Okay. You know, saying that, there's a way to do that. And that's just... Go up. I mean, what I usually did was I specified like one LCD to ores, one LCD to ingots, and that's all. Yeah. But if you want to have one giant ass list, that's true. Just going up and up. That went. Um, one. I can do the change of opinions. I think I know you're watching Space credits, yoink. <laughs> I will need to just recompile it. Just so that they're all in sync. Question is why do we have stuff in the cryo chamber? Uh Ownership changed recompile. I don't know. H hello? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we should probably put that sort of money into the faction. No. Uh, that's money that I got from a uh, unknown signal. Did I ask? <laughs> it's now my money. You just left it. <laughs> the winners would like to do some quests. Uh, I'm pretty sure. What kind of quests are there the winners? What you're trying to grow my money from me? I'm pretty sure there is a way. Oh no, don't. Yeah, there is. No. <laughs> don't touch my pocket money. <laughs> I earned it. You earned it from stealing my money. <laughs> yeah, but some of it is actually what I spawned with. Yeah. 10k. No. <laughs> you always spawn with about 10k. Some unknown signals as well. We just didn't notice when I just deposited the money, that's all. <laughs> you ain't like 500. <laughs> Why are you? Uh, where's the contract? Uh, contract acquisition contract for 37 detector comps gives you 100k. <sighs> An acquisition contract of 167 gold gives you 3.7 million. We have 167 gold. Uh, I don't think so. Ah, there we go. What are you doing? Go mine it! <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, do you, do, do you have the mod that, that lets you make like AI crewmates? 
Uh, yes. Oh, it's in, we're gonna need credits. Yes. I'm gonna make myself some fine soldiers. <laughs> Get ready! Go! I'm back. Wee. Right. I'm gonna steal one of your miners. Oh wait. Oh wait, we don't have an ore detector anymore. Uh, I, yeah, I got rid of it thinking that that was the cause of the problem. Because it was not long after I'd locked that down. Why does it connect me to the projector? Oh, okay. Is it really only 1k? 1k is more than enough. <laughs> Not for me. I need more. I'm gonna steal one of your miners. Uh, one is up. That, that's just for um, the automation. If you want to use it as a regular miner, you can. Although, eh, yeah, you might need to put a set of drills on a different hotbar tab. Oh, I might need to recompile the scripts. Turn off the programmable block. Uh, I might have. Because it's not responding. Oh, it might also be very slow. Because, I mean, if I'm in here and I go down, that little carrot should have moved down, but it's just. It will eventually. It just takes its time. I guess you slowed out the commands. No, I think I think it's just Pam showing its age. Well, there you go. Now it's. I have never had this kind of slow reaction time. Yeah. Are you going to go for the gold or something? Yes, I'm gonna go dig some gold. Okay. <laughs> I wonder. I'm still watching the stream. <laughs> yeah. I'm just wondering whether I can do something silly. Stop recording. What is that silly thing? Oh, you are straight up trying to get it automated. Commander Fluffy. Said you're an old man, Geard. First Thanks. of all, we're <laughs> oh, Commander Fluffy, hello. Commander Fluffy, said you.
What do I need to press for the... Oh, the ejectors are on by default. Mm-hmm. It's gonna take a while. Oh, we think it's just right click, to be honest. Is there a camera that the aims down? Uh, no, I don't think so. What kind of downwards mining ship doesn't have a camera going downwards? <laughs> what is this heresy? If you want to fully automate it, you need to have it uh, start a new job. Yeah, I know that, but I just want to like dig down so I could see the gold. No point of mining stone. Unless you need the silicon. Well, I think we do actually need the silicon. There's like silicon, like 600 oh, meters. Oh, that's me. the horizontal miner. Oh, hello, Commander Fluffy. Hello. I don't know why you were on mute. Yeah. Tell me no, why you were on mute. Why. I don't know why I was muted. But you were the one that muted himself, so... You need yeah, to... like, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been, Commander? Well, okay. I moved my desk into the living room. I haven't been on my computer in forever. I've been using a laptop too long. <laughs> right. My ejectors aren't working. You seem to be cutting in and out a lot, Commander. Oh, am I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's cold. Maybe it's because my sensitivity is not high enough. Okay. I want that. That's a bit better. Is your station that you have there or a ship that you're building? Uh, it's, it looks massive. Yeah, it's it's reasonably large. And I mean, if I turn. Is it auto building? Is the question. Uh, oh, no, yet. no, it's not building yet. If I turn that projector on and. Wait for it to actually load. Someone made the uh, federal. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so <laughs> federal corvette from Millie Dangerous. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, so that is that what you're trying to build? No, I'm just trying to build a ship that can fight and get rid of drones. Um because we have a mission to defend the space base. 
and more of the six space bits. Yeah. Soon. Supposedly the ship says my load is like 44%. But it definitely looks full. <laughs> uh, that's because the ship is counting the Gold? the drills. You're telling me I have more drills than I have more large cargo containers. Yeah, it counts the drill storage as viable storage that it can use for the ore. Uh, and you might need to go press enter and F2 and... Uh, I can't remember. Uh, is it... Build... There's something in that menu that allows you to, like, if I get into this ship, you can see that I have two bars. One of them is the drill. But the drill isn't full at all. The issue is the drills don't have that much capacity, like one drill has enough capacity to be basically as a medium cargo container and the medium cargo container is basically 3.7k liters mm -hmm. So I kind of have an issue with that kind of behavior uh, Oh, well, I really don't care. By the way, Floopy, your TV is echoing. Yeah, I know. to move that around. Oh, it finally registered its full. Took you long enough. <laughs> Winners don't mind as well, just make you stop ejecting. You do realize that Pam will do that automatically. Ah, oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, wait. Are we not moving? Uh, ship? I think it might be... Hold on, let me... <sighs> okay, it's moving, but it's moving... Towards yeah. the tree. So its current settings are set to mine down and when it gets full of stone it will come out of the um, hole, fly to a different position and drop stone. Rather than try and drop stone in the mine as it's mining. Because you can get to a point where it's dropping stone as fast as it's remining that dropped stone. I think there's an issue somewhere with this ship because the ejectors aren't taking as much stone from the cargo containers as Ejection they are taking failed. from the drills. Yeah, I think it's because you uh, messed around with it as it was trying to do stuff. The only time it ejected was when I was using the drill dig, like, as collect stuff to the inventory. Not the right click. Yeah, right click just straight deletes the voxel. 
The issue is the ejector didn't work even if I had full cargo. Yeah, I think you uh, may have messed around with it a bit too much. You may have done something and the script's been there like, ah! Suppressed we'll Pikachu. I should check if anything is turned off on the ship. Because uh... right now it's saying last is ejection failed. Connector is turned on. Ejectors. Selecting all of the ejectors. Let me turn them on. There's, There's a group. There. Oh, the PAM sorter is turned off. Uh, let me turn that on. Let me just recall you home. <laughs> let me see if there's anything else. I really wish someone would make an auto mining script or update PAM so that it is not as. not this laggy. I mean, for me it isn't that laggy. Like, only on this session it's that, has that laggy. I don't know if it's because of your CPU not being able to handle as much stuff that is going on. Hmm. Because your simulation speed is kind of finicky. Yeah, right. I've told it to come home. I mean, the ejector system looks to be normal right now. Basically, the ham sorters were disabled for some reason. Hmm. Ship is full. I think your request home didn't work. Unless it requested the other ship home. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yes, it requested. Right, okay, let's. Pam minor. I. C. E. Right, you are now designated as Pam minor ice. Job. Press the up five times, and that should get me where I, want, where I need to be. Something's wrong with the ship. Uh, I'm gonna come back. Maybe ship is full. It. No, like it doesn't deject from cargo. Let's best push the talk key that you guys are good. 
I just uh, used the one that was on my mouse. I got like forward and back keys or scroll keys. I mean, I use the uh, the back key for push to talk on my mouse. But if I I, mean, I use the back key more of the forward key, so yeah. Flying to docking area. Oh, is that just your, like, remote control thing? Yeah. It's... It's the main terminal which allows me to... Um, affect the miners that have the same script on, but are in effectively slave mode. <laughs> Take a look at it then. Yeah. I'm gonna be real quick. Let's see. No. I prefer looking at it from this. There we go. Because at least with this screen. I can see what is going on with ease. Admit it, it might take a while, but... I can check the script end and see it with ease. And then, and or I can go to the ship and do the same thing. <laughs> Ships style See where that little carrot is. settings Game has frozen. Game has gone frozen. Drop position, no, down. 
So I was trying to watch uh, the Fifth Element on my server the other day, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what happened to this file, but it got corrupted so badly that everything was in double speed, and everybody sounded like a chipmunk. And so I went and I looked at the actual like original file, not the one that was streaming to my device, and it's exactly the same. So I don't know how it got corrupted so badly, but it was only that movie. <laughs> Okay. Okay, max load. Wait my minute, drop position stone, toggle sorters, unload ice. Yeah, everything looks good on that end. So now it's just the actual ship that needs looking at. He has got the sorters that are turned on at the moment. Um, sensor. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. Yes, who's back? Back again. Ooh, there's a movie I haven't watched in a long time. Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ghost Rider? I haven't watched it for, you know, uh, Nicholas Cage. seen it oh actually I have oh that one I don't know but I imagine for some reason some cyberpunk thing but I don't know I think I only have seen the first movie that's all And the reason I keep doing this is because the thingy in here updates faster than the LCD. Yeah, that makes sense. For me, it doesn't update at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's because my ping is so high. No, it's it's just the script. It it's literally just the script being slow. Right, let's. It's for me, like. At least on my own private game, everything basically updates semi instantly. Right, continue job. Oh, wait, did you disable drain all on the sorters? Mm, shouldn't have done. When we were like looking for the issues. Yes, I, I did, but this is... I didn't save that. So, all of the conveyor sorters have drain all and are turned on. Oh yes, that's going to charge. Filter mode is at blacklist though. Yeah, that's fine. Blacklist just means anything in that list will not be pulled. Yeah, it doesn't have a filter. Yeah, so it's a good thing. 
and you think that docks to these will immediately be emptied which is what you want for an automated miner and hydrogen does not give two monkeys about sorters and directional stuff it will just go wherever more you know I guess because we didn't know <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. I really want to start assembling my own ship. Okay. If I do that, does that update? Yes, that does update. LOL. Okay One. then. Uh, so, whilst I'm in the ship and the big LCD has got this ship up and selected, you can effectively see what I am doing on the big screen. Yeah, we definitely need gold. We have like 0 0.26 gold. <laughs> I think we that was actually a good call for my point. <laughs> yeah, I think we also need silver probably as well because that's at 332. Yeah, I think we also need um, silicon. Silicon is. We have 36k silicon. I don't know if that's enough or not. Mm, maybe. We have 431 magnesium. It's Basically, the things we are definitely low on is magnesium, gold, and silver. Yeah. I believe that I learned the periodic table because of space engineers. <laughs> I mean, not really. It's kind of like what uh, a lot of people end up learning is the periodic table for the video game. And then not realizing it. It's like, it's a lot easier to look at a U than it's actually to just hover it over the name. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly it doesn't have a, like a texture, because if it had an actual color and texture, then you would actually notice the difference. Yeah, the... Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I know magnesium is magnesium, because that's the only one that has a package and it says magnesium on it. <laughs> but at the same time, it has basically the same texture as gravel. I would never guess what the hell is nickel, I would think it's cobalt or something. Or titanium. Now that I think of it, it's kind of odd that nickel has its own texture because isn't it technically nickel as well? Nickel is Same NI, problem. isn't it? Huh? Nickel is NI. Yeah, nickel is NI. Hmm. Like the nickel ingot is a bit wider than the other ingots. And the cobalt ingot is basically a circular thing. I guess it's to show the difference, but at the same time, if you want to show a difference, why not make gold and silver look different as well? Or is it that hard to add some colors to the UI? I mean, people have so done it, hard. I just don't... yeah. It's 
so difficult. I mean, technically you could argue that gold, silver, and iron are all different shades. Yeah, but if I were to remove the F, E, A, G, and A, U, would you ever cast them? Probably, actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I personally think that A, G is actually A, U, because A, U, I think, reflects more than A, G. Yeah, I have... Actually, which reflects more, silver or gold? Uh, I have played this game for so long, and even when people add the coloured UI mod, I usually just turn it off in the personal settings. Because I have gotten so used to the effectively monochrome. Okay. Silver reflects more, much more light than gold. The more you know, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go mine some gold. Yeah. I'm just doing this to see if it is a setting on the ship or whether it was you messing around with the settings as it was doing its thing. This is like the worst part where the mine for gold because it's so deep down. How wide did you make it? Ah, uh, two. Okay, so pretty wide. Well, I can change the. for a second. That was a super ship on the fault. <laughs> All I have done is increase the velocity by 0.5 meters a second. Because there's sort of a balance between Now it's doing the thing where it's getting stuck because. Okay. Why are you doing that? That's not what I had you set to. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> I did everything wrong. I just flew here and uh, pressed do job. <laughs> Yeah, dig the hole, but that's all. Yeah. Actually, a dog. Pestance. Or is it? Dig? Dog? Who cares? That is the past tense of you. Behavior settings. What you call the ship, Dig Dog? <laughs> Drop position stone. Oh, it's no raining place. stone. Ship is full. I 
should set it to whitelist and the check so. Let's try to call the salt this off. I found a download for a Pac-Man TV show from the 80s. <laughs> it is just as bad as you can imagine. Okay. You mean the game or the movie? The TV Wait. show. There's a TV show from the 80s? Yeah, it, it looks like um, the Jetsons, but also just really poorly animated. I'm gonna pretend and I know what is Chetsons. Oh, hold on. Think of like a really, really old TV show that's really, really poor quality. That's what no. you did. I don't know, as a child I had a lot of nostalgia that didn't make them look as bad that they were. Do you remember uh, watching, for instance, uh... The thing as a child I remember was watching Texter's Laboratory. <laughs> what happened? Oh, actually, Johnny Test as well, and... Uh, I think I've, like, Dexter's Lab, but, like, their worst animated version of it. Oh, gosh. Oh. Ah, this Pokemon. Yeah. Drop in motion. No. I mean, the pictures itself that look as bad. It's bad. Voice acting is terrible. I mean, that was just an uh, American accent of being kind of funny. I have a TV show on my server called the Beverly Hillbillies, and it came out in the 60s, or 50s, one of the two. It's black and white. <laughs> Pardon me. 1978 was the first sketch of the TV. 1925, the first true mechanical TV. So yeah, I guess a lot of voice acting wasn't existing because of the TVs being that new. Yeah. I mean, at that didn't point... didn't really have any, like, animation studios at that time. And I think that's the time when there was the Red Scare. Oh yeah. So I think most people actually focused on that point, not... Some children and my issues. Yeah. I wonder if they cried about the fact that the TV was going to put so many people out of business. Like today with the AI. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Hmm. <laughs> So funny, like you want people want to innovate, and they're, and they're all like, "Oh no, we don't like that." What you looking at? 
I'm just trying to figure out. What's wrong with the ejectors, right? Yeah, why they keep ejecting on going down rather than coming out and... I only noticed that they worked when I was actually trying to dig with the left click. Yeah, they're not meant to work when they're digging with the left click though. I've got it set up so that it will dig down, fill up with stone, come out of the hole, fly somewhere else, drop the stone, then go back into the hole and dig again. Well, there's two options. Either something is internally broken or there's actually some missing part on it. Because maybe on a main mining operation something broke. Build progress complete. No. Nothing oh, broke not. on it. Unless this rather old script has just finally sort of broken in a small way. Because, I mean... Edit. Updated 20th of December 2019. I'm joking. Yeah, I can see. I can see. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have never used ejectors with the PAM, so I don't really know. Because I usually just put cargo containers and take all of the stones so I could get some silicon and iron. Hmm. Popular as well. Relevance. I mean, most popular, it'll probably have Pam. Then look at the top two. <laughs> why did uh, Steam have pressure? What? Last. Ah, why? No, I want. Most recent. Actually, yeah, most recent. Simple unit control. Arm. That's no. That was interesting. Now that I have to use caps lock to talk. Getting real mad when trying to control or buttons and mouse. Huh? Now I'll just be yelling anytime I talk. <laughs> you did not use the align ship before you made this uh, <laughs> hole. Over. I can tell because we're going in at a five degree angle.
ship is full. Ejection failed. Okay, so maybe I just need to turn them. There off. is an updated script for PAM, but that one doesn't have the PAM controller anymore. <sighs> because, like on PvP servers, it's not a good idea to have an antenna equipped. <laughs> I mean, if there's something that is as simple or something like that, something that does the same job, but also is not like stupidly complex, I will like try and use that instead. Especially <laughs> nanobot drill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could have used that, but that sort of then you don't really go make miners. You just make something with those things, and it's <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have a. Um on my single player game that's basically the laser drill so it's basically so to say an end game thing yeah so that still works drill? yeah the, the laser welding grinding drill things oh not the it's basically only a mining beam, beam drill oh that much yeah quite old to be honest the filters don't work on it, but if you just set it to mine, then it works. The yeah. only issue is uh, basically you cannot set a filter to ignore stone. Right. But it has an option to just incinerate stone. But it uses a shit ton of energy. Yeah. I'm correct, it needed like. Four large reactors, but I had some like custom energy stuff, so it didn't really matter for me. Bam, ELA, BAF exclusive, mining exclusive local area. Having found PAM crates, skip like X, you will probably end up controlling a lot of drones and let them. The basic idea for this utility script is using an already existing PAM functionality to do some more automated drone management. You need a PAM script, you need one PAM controller to command the drones. All drones must use PAM and broadcast to that controller drones broadcast name equal to the grid name. A sensor is needed to detect drones entering the exclusive area. Mm. Hmm. So what I'm guessing the script does is you set up an exclusive area and the drills will like try to mine the one area together. Sure. Uh, Perfect. 
supply line. figure out how that thing works but there's another script that actually exists This is rather irritating and also rather interesting at the same time. And it's not ejecting all of the stone. Tempted, I'm not gonna lie. To take this ship apart and remake it. Because something is definitely being weird. Definitely being weird. Helps if you're on the correct tab. Okay. So 
top. Flight home position. It does mean, however, you are going to have to redo the... I'm saying that... Making me curious as to whether... This thing's doing it. It is. I think the PAM script is broken. I think the ship is broken, if anything. Because that one is specifically meant to mine ice, and it is just not. Yeah, because it didn't set a blacklist to it. Like quite literally the plaque list was empty when I checked last time on the stone or the gold miner. Yeah, this one should only be hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I guess we just That's why I heard clang.
once you get smashed. I got killed by Clang. I think I should have put a yellow sticker on the ship. Warning, Geo Miner, do not approach. <laughs> Question, why are the nanites not helping me? Do I need a specific color on this ship as well? No, they should be helping you. It might just be the fact that at the moment it's not owned by anyone. There is no computer on it. I imagine if you put like a... Uh, a button panel down or something like that and weld that up, then they might help you. Oh. Uh, yep. You're lucky that I've turned off the, uh, one of the settings, because, uh, around building repairs, if I hadn't turned janitor grind not owned blocks you would not be able to just make free floating shit i just got fed up of it eating wheels <laughs> oh yeah and you can now also see the difference between uh, the modded and unmodded assembler. <laughs> DLC assembler. DLC assembler in green, modded assembler in yellow. Looks so weird. Oh yeah, it's because I'm build machine right now. <laughs> oh, I should stop wasting the day. Yeah, you should. So, what's the purpose of that rover? Oh, oh my god, why is it? Why is this turn radius so big? Oh, I 
Don't have any interior points on it. Please excuse my siblings being loud. Question, can you disable the um, build and repair? I think I'm gonna load it myself actually. If uh, you don't mind. What are you gonna do? I need to move a projector onto my ship. Alright. And I don't want it to build while I'm trying to adjust its location. Looks like you've already done it. Uh, I hope I know how it works. Because if I don't, it's gonna be uh, quite embarrassing to look at. Oh god, it was like that. It's mm. mm. a problem. I need to make this rover either wider or... What are you doing? Uh... Basically... This is a... Um, so to say... Depot for an auto mining setup. Uh huh. And quite literally needs to use this because I don't know how to use the script itself. <laughs> Do you know what script it is? Yeah, it's based on scam, which is by made by the same guy that didn't provide any documentation on the bleep command script. So, copy page URL.
Have you uh, tried looking at that? I'm gonna do it after I get my reward fixed up right now. <laughs> Next time the burn repairs get turned on, that ship's going to start getting built. Where's the piston hand? So as a result of that, I'm going to start trying to make it look. I have an issue here. What? There's no piston head. That's Hey, let's go. <laughs> Don't mind me doing dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. yes. But I win. Dumb stuff. Mm -hmm.
Keen, what the heck? What? They have broken or s oh never mind, it was just never mind, I take it back. <laughs> it was just the game taking a while to load that particular asset. Considering how many mods and how high your load and stuff is, I wouldn't be surprised. Have I just done... So, if you want, you can get outside of that box that I've shown, and you'll be outside of the building repair Oh yeah, zone. you can enable it now. like comments I am, if I'm correct, you disabled the projector printing? Yeah, I disabled projector printing. Do you want me to turn that on? Yeah. Projector printing is now enabled. However, it 
uh, may take a while. Unless you want to try and get closer to the burn repair units. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Thousand interior and regular. I think your server doesn't, or CPU doesn't like the fact that all on what you're doing right now. Probably. Server thread load is like 300. Why is it making that many tools? That is a good question. To the point of. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. God damn it. <laughs> Apparently, it just keeps queuing things up. I'll keep me posted. I'm gonna. <coughs> Press workshop, me know. <sighs> yeah. Spam utilize jump drives. Sorry? Does PEM utilize jump drivers at long distances? No. Game. <laughs> well, if you think about it, jump drivers are semi random in where they drop you, so it can't create a waypoint for that. That's the shame. Yeah. If jump drives were consistent, or consistent within a couple meters, then mm, there might be a possibility. I don't know though. Everything is packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I blame you. <laughs> I blame Keen making a game that can't handle large amounts of stuff I think I'm going to have to auto 4 no Shit. I don't want to alt F4 because I didn't take a save. 
So we would be rolling back to when the assemblers and shit were bugged. Mm hmm. Well, mind you, that might not be a bad thing. How does this kind of issue happen on you? Like, I have never had those kinds of issues. Apparently, game bugs just love me. <laughs> I guess. Either that or I manage to find weird combinations that nobody else have, has even contemplated. Oh. Oop, that was a fail. Can I see some flashing in the background? <laughs> yeah, that's just the the gif of um, building repairs. They still don't have the game paused menu in the way. <laughs> It doesn't say game paused, but it blooming is. <laughs> like, this this is sort of the level of. At some point soon, I'm expecting Windows to uh, hand me the knife. <laughs> you know, task not responding. <laughs> Wait for program to respond or kill it with fire. at this point. Yeah. Oh. Alt F4. I'm in the game. Alt F4 doesn't work in space engineers. Not when Space Engineers is this badly gone. Who control or delete? Control or delete opens task manager. I don't need to do that because I have these things frequently enough that I have task manager pinned to my toolbar. <laughs> you think oh, I'm you good. said a lot. <laughs> yeah. You think I'm joking? No, I don't. I would believe that if somebody would say that. And considering what has been going on today, yes. Alright. Task manager. Kill it! Even Task Manager can't kill it. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Is that a properly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no. I have never wanted to see this screen. That <laughs> shit is nightmare film. Yep. <laughs> That's why it's the uh, please stand by while shit goes wrong screen. Uh, yep. Do you know what is funny? Go on. A Age of Empires 2 costs 20 euro. Guess how much does cost Age of Empires 4? Go on. It's 40. Mm hmm? Every edition they add 10 euro to the price. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on some level, that's satisfying. On another, that's corporate scumbaggery. Mm. 
I mean, I probably wouldn't upgrade from the Age of Empires to... I need to figure out where is that old CD. I have still like one of the oldest CDs of Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Like before it came out of Steam. <laughs> I remember as a child playing it almost. There are a lot of um, CDs and DVDs and yeah, oh, game yeah, and things. Get a disc reader for my PC if I even want to <laughs> use that. <laughs> Like most base games I'm looking for are either RTS games or they're not actually space games. <laughs> yeah. And then you have the their few gems that are sandbox like space engineers. Control Y. Get Tell me it. why. Oh god. Yep, I warned you. We uh, roll back to this bit. Lol. This is why I say auto saving is a good thing. I agree with you. I, I genuinely do. It's just I'm flipping forgetful. Player with that ship and trying to figure it out how it works in single player before I'm gonna do it here. Alright. Because I think at some point you're gonna crash the server. <laughs> there uh, is a possibility. is not right now. You know what we need? Some kind of ultra speed module and only one assembler. So if that one assembler crashes the game, it doesn't crash as bad. All assemblers have, well, all apart from the manual assembler, have been removed. Save the game. Thank you. <laughs> Do it. Game has been saved.
300k, 55k. <laughs> It starts scrolling again. Okay, so inventory. What would it be to get rid of the gas summary? Save. Um, you know what? Let's just do negative tool. Custom data. Of tool. No, I broke it. Okay, so maybe it's asterisk ow plus. All negative tool. Aha! That worked. Okay. So it wants three hundred K steel plate.
Auto one. Let's have you. One, two, three. That's three thousand. That's thirty thousand. Let's go thirty thousand. Curtains shut anyway. Let's go eighty thousand. Has one of you got the dog in with? No dog with you. feeling cold and that's because all the flipping curtains and windows are open. 16. Large steel tube 6k. Small steel tube 16k. No. 26k. This one do all of the steel stuff. That could be a thousand. Large steel tube, it was like uh, let's go just do four K. Oh yeah, construction component. What does it want for construction components? 50k. I could be doing this from the LCDs, thinking about it. Construction component. That's 5,000, that's 50k. Steel tube is twenty six K. Anything else that doesn't require any other style? No. All this will need is iron in its inventory, so that should be fine. Alright. So, B. 
basically 1,000 of everything apart from artillery, which it wants 50 of. Oh yeah, that is Gat ammo and it wants two thousand of that. Every other thing it wants fifty. I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry, Right. Okay. And now it's basically just everything else. Oh, that was nice. 250 medical. No. 120. doing this to pass time also what is it quick save yes it has saved
I see. I see. Alright. Let's just get that off. Superconductor three K. Grid fifteen. Let's go twenty. Twenty K. Computer can't actually see. Powers. Power cell, it wants twenty two point eight. Okay, so two thou. Ow. Fine. I'll use spectator then. Let's not cure up gravity or Superconductor, it wants 10k reactor. Yeah, I'll give you 10k reactor. That's 1000, that's 10,000. I think, I hope. Um. No, 
Detector 400. Missile zero. Because <laughs> I sort of see a problem. Magnesium, platinum, and uranium. Well, let's just rename this one. Does this even have... No, it doesn't. Does it have a... thingy? Because I want to know how much... What the... <laughs> I'm going insane. 
O. Basically, when I say, say do the mining drill to start job, it flies up and it crashes into the ship. Um, so, like, ham, you don't set it up by going to the location and say to the sensor, oh, start shop here. You need to do it some somehow in the control ship. And it drives me insane. <laughs> okay, time. Tanks. Adding a shield to the ship so the miners don't destroy the shield of the ship. Yeah, but you don't have shields on this particular game. I'm gonna add it then. I uh, set up the uh, a new automatic um, generation of parts mm. and I actually try to start a new with this kind of kind of damn script because I don't know why but the ship just flies high and it goes into max speed and basically connects with my main ship hmm but I'm fairly sure it's not supposed to happen yeah I 
this time I'm gonna cut them heavy armor blocks to the connectors just to defend my ship. <laughs> It's done. Let's see, is Pam going to behave? No. Excuse me.
Oh, blooming dog. manual typing commands <laughs> kinda yeah See if this works. Probably not. But no. In which case... Cease.
Oh yeah. <laughs> New beta release on Thursday.
Ooh. Automatic LCDs has a power summary. Hmm. Let's see if it's any good. Hey! And that shows everything. That's the that's a little inconvenient. Oh, it keeps resetting it. Fine. doesn't work. I guess we weren't supposed to have automatic miners until a couple or at least for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. It's a Thursday, right? Thursday. This coming Thursday. Thursday the 16th. Should come before actually, so people can just mess around with it. I mean, if I uh, copy. Yeah, I know that they're just gonna. Like, there's a lot of announcements everywhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna dump it in invoice and uh, see how people in this Discord server react. Cricket noises. <laughs> Probably. And I wish there's just a blueprint I can just yoink that has a scam based system. Space-based auto miner from Ectosage. I wonder if that still works. Quarry miner. <laughs> uh. 
a slight bit of overkill. Ardav. A small auto miner. Opening workshop, what do you use? I'm a little suspicious of that. Suspicious of what? It's called Small Auto Miner. It looks... Yeah. Looks like it was made ages ago. I mean, the post date is 2016, what do you think? Yeah. It didn't have the modern DLCs then yet. No. Oh look! <laughs> the first... one of the first ships I ever made. <laughs> For the love of Christ, where is the cockpit? Who designs a ship that uses airlocks like this? I'll have to... You know what, I am gonna print that off. Gonna heat workshop users. I should have added the builder per mod, so I can just. That's an old blueprint as well. Yeah. Jesus Christ, look at the grass. <laughs> There's no point of actually subbing to a mod that's actually older than a year because they don't have that many new stuff. I mean, you say that, but... 2014. Oof. I remember watching him make this as well. on this ship. So if I'm correct, this ship is meant to be planetary capable. Uh, anyways, I guess these are the three spots that are meant for a miner. What is this? Oh, that's a jump train. that it contains. Probably. Supposedly it's scam based, so I hope it actually works. What is this? Under each star. This doesn't even have a pattern. Generator, there's a couple of them since it's a hydrogen based ship. 
whatever that script is that automatically closes doors when I already hit it. <laughs> it's either a timer or it's um, the auto. Uh, some sort of airlock. There's usually uh, like a timer that just closes all the things for some reason. I could wind the timer, but I don't like it as well. Yeah. I'm back here again. That, that. There's a medical station? Nice. There's a cryer room. I don't know why you need that many cryers considering you have one shitter for this entire ship. You know somebody's gonna sit there and eat tacos meanwhile. Uh, this is a vent for the associate people. There's a living room for... How many people? Three or four people, so this ship is meant to be flown by three people, I guess. Oh, I see the command and conquer room now. Why are we falling? Why is it falling? Is a good question to which I do not know the answer. This ship is gonna crash quite imminently, and I can't do anything about it. Oh, note to self never use this ship on a planet. Unless you want to crash it to the ground. I have a really good question. I guess you, this ship doesn't come with pre-built miners. And it doesn't even mention in the description what kind of miner that it is it supposed to use. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Disagreeabling.
Ah, uh, should save your game. Thank you. There's got to be one. There has to be. They added a load of blocks. There can't not be some way to go from a This way. <laughs> I am adding greebles to this ship. <laughs>
Auto head tickling my nose. See anything? Game. Okay. Thank you.
found the perfect spa spa spaceship for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It even has a quite nice interior. It's the best part. It even uses Pam. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have the Vishnu? No, I don't. It has eight large cargo containers. For refineries, for assemblers. Yeah. Just a cute <clears throat> small miner. It's only a wee little one. Just a wee little one. <laughs> I don't know why I, I, I really don't know why I went Scottish when I did that. I, yeah. Well, it has like three point three million liters of storage for ores. Rupture souls. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I don't know the first part. If I'm correct, it has jump drives in it. Huh. Huh. I'm gonna check it while I'm here. I've been subscribing to a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that a lot. Contains some blocks that you don't have in this world. Oh, that's bad news. That script, go away. <laughs> automatic LCDs, whips automatic door. It has 10 jump drives. If I was to convert it to ship on a planet, oh, yeah, it will. <laughs> it definitely will. <laughs> the hydrogen thrusters it has is definitely not enough. <laughs> now it's rolling down a mountain because it's circular 
Ow. 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 <laughs> Maybe some of the view ex Oh god. There's a hole in the ship. Oh no. There's a hole in my ship. As I like what I've done with the greebles, I'm gonna have to undo all of those greebles because I need to add a layer of heavy armor. Did we not want to make the corvettes because it? What we thought it was plant ready, right? Honestly, I was just trying going to try and build this wireframe up oh. to the point of where we could start welding it and yeah. This one I've just disabled the well the sorters and ejectors and stuff and just told it to continue mining. mentioned the components it needs. No. Yeah, it it does depend on how lazy that person is feeling. See how many cargo is this? And how is it flying? Oh it is a double shrink. So that as far as I can see, is six large cargo containers. Eight, nine, ten. Why did I close it? Muscle memory. <laughs> I should actually look into the red AI auto miner script. Maybe that can. <sighs> Stupid mouse mat on a hill. Oh, I think that script is meant for space, not. Planet 3 combustion.
magnesium. Pretty sure this one okay, can't do it from there. Have to do it in the actual Oh, clonky, excuse me. Changed progress lost. Let's see if your magnesium. I think we're better off making hydrogen miners, then we can go to space with them. Yes. Start building the ship or what? Oh, yeah. Right, there we go. I need 
to edit some of the script, but or not the script, but the blueprint, but it's technically one that I yanked from the workshop. Wait, is that just no okay. Definitely add one block. Looks like that's just one block. That is just one block. Okay, in which case. This, this is where I wish they had um, something similar to the creative mode click and drag functionality but in survival mode yeah. or at the very least a mirror mode for survival I suppose it'll be easier to do greebles once it's built. Did you like have a separate script that made it so you aligned to the... The ground? blue... Uh, for Pam. Yes. Uh, if you... Okay, that one's gone. No, the... Oh, okay, I guess I'm going with this one then. But if you... Like, actually look at the programmable block and scroll down, it gives you... Like... The... A whole bunch of keybinds. Well, not keybinds, but... Arguments to put in. So, if I just... Oh, I know, know the normal ones, but I didn't know if it has the align one. Yeah. Uh, that's just a random program. Block. Yeah, if, if you just do run and put in the argument align, that will put you level with the... Yeah. 
level with the planet. Yeah, well, that's extra silicon. Magnesium for that to work. <laughs> this miner definitely doesn't work on Earth. Okay then. It's using a swear record. <laughs> uh, it does the... How to say double drill have a bigger mining range? Yes. Okay. Every, every, the twin tools all have better stats than their vanilla counterparts. To make my own mining ship that works perfectly very cool. I'm trying to mine ice and it basically filled its cargo and then it just plopped. Mm -hmm. Mitted, not much better, but. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a better mining radius than standard drill.
Okay. And the forward lightning is a thing. <laughs> It's a thing and it's a boitch. Is it? I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, the advantage of this thing collecting all of the stone is small amounts of iron. Not that it matters, because they're all getting refined at stupid rates anyway. Hit the nickel. getting iron. Yes, that was getting iron. Oh no, maybe it was getting cobalt. In which case... In which case, if it's getting iron and cobalt... job quickly whilst it works ah <laughs> oh, darn it there it goes it script it's frozen oh right uh, actually now I'm going to going to get out of that and I'm going to change its home Connector. Wait for that one to come back.
just happened? You probably heard somebody in the background. No, it's just like my ship just lost power out of me. For no reason. Okay. so small but at the same time the keyboard isn't as big as well <laughs> grind if I get stuck grind before world please Vertical offset twenty. Forward offset zero. Which one of these is a full block? That is a full block. Cool. That probably is going to get in the way of that. And then again, maybe not.
Okay. Actually, let's turn that projector back on. Just in case. Now I can <laughs> actually dock at one of these. I'm tempted to move that one pan miner over by one. In fact, if I've got a ship here. Damn it, I did it again. If I want a vertical offset, let's have a vertical offset of about. this as a actual thing let's have it flipped like so
for what he was on the space available. This place is definitely for automated ships. <laughs> Sorry? How old are the doctor speaking? Uh. Well, put it like this I've just made an entire new row of connectors and stuff. Oh. Like, all of these. Admitted it's not as many as these, but. I also have room to just go. As I much as I like the things to be symmetric, but I can't have them symmetric without wasting space. <laughs> so I'm so mad at myself. Uh, I know that. I know that level of pain. Fit some batteries in it, so uh, yeah. Let's have that level. new path wait for the LCD to update because then I know it's actually recording good That's the DLC thing. The time that they yes. made... Yeah, the industrial large container does not have cargo ports on all sides. The regular large container does. I'm talking about the small ship. Oh, okay. Small ship. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's... that's irritating, yep. <laughs>
I'm here now. So, so can I just to each character? Fly to a job position. Okay. That's where it the job position is. Okay. Set up mining job. job. That's going to run back to base at some point and I think the full phrase is not a monkey's ass or something like that. It's one of those weird British phrases that occasionally, occasionally gets said. that being at a angle it will get more in the way of iron and cobalt
ship too heavy. Load 70%. Interesting. Supposedly, a ship that has 10 large cargo containers needs only 10 large hydrogen thrusters. Okay. This is definitely not 10. This is definitely not even maybe 20. Definitely over 20. <laughs> <Definitely. laughs> I just went nuts with the hunt. the shenanigans also and this has too many thrusters Okay, maybe I should uh, put the ice miner on pause. I think if you were to see the ship, you think I would have gone insane. <laughs> This ship is getting built slowly. Oh yeah, this ship is meant to be used with um, only with remote control, so yeah. Ok, 
Okay. Well, I suppose that is one advantage of the bone repairs. They they build all of the cargo shenanigans first. I mean, it's technically good on the cockpit to it, but good luck seeing from it. <laughs> I mean, one of the first ships I built had the cockpit at the very back. That could work. Like, I'm not even joking. It was, it was basically that ship. Wait, didn't I put it up on the workshop? Wee. never noticed how similar the space engineer and the ship breaker suit are until they put them right next to each other. I just want to read the things. <laughs> um, I actually have an ore detector to this ship. What kind of miner has no ore detector? <laughs> Because I don't use the mod that increases store detector range, we need to do it manually. Should I add ejectors to it? Um, if you want, you can, but I would put all of the ejectors or all of the the sorters that go to the ejectors into a group for PAM if you're thinking about that. Because while I'm here I can just do that and just put yeah. stone if we need to. Mm. In fact. Yeah, I could actually add uh, It's just... yeah There goes my ship again for no apparent reason It just T-powered for no reason, it has energy Oh, it ran out of hydrogen probably Yeah, it, it does happen. Right. Is this a bull frustration? Yeah. Well, uh, luckily, uh, I'm on ice, like so. <laughs> I mean, it, it might just be the fact that you don't have enough generators for that. Give me an idea of adding generators to it, thanks to that fact. Alright, <laughs> yeah. Now I 
wonder if something broke on it, considering how steep of a fall it was. Right. That is. Oh, it looks like nothing broke. Yeah, good. Uh, so, ejectors. I need to group the sorters into PAM. Yeah. I believe that's how it would work. Computers and construction component. Of course. Computers, construction component. Why are you making all of these? Spread out like a maniac. There is no reason to spread all of this out like you are doing. to stop building this ship, at least for now. Or at least all of the bits from the outside. This ship already looks like a goddamn abomination. <laughs> and I love it. Yours or mine? Cause mine. I... <laughs> uh, done. Cause I was gonna say, either way it's a compliment. <laughs> Not intend to compliment, but uh, yeah. Did I? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm a weird person. I take things weirdly and find compliments where they shouldn't be. Well, I 
guess everything on the inside will get built then. Although, maybe not. Regular welders. There is definitely something getting built. Why can I not configure multiple sorters at the same time? Uh, because Keen. Ah, oh, this is bullshit. Yeah. Trust me. I, 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 I want to as well. to use filters in a single person or I would have killed myself. And that's a joke. <laughs> you would have backspaced. Yes. Exactly. This looks like a job for me, so everyone... Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna crash this game. Because it feels so empty, you know? <laughs> Come in again. It's about to get dirty. You know what? I'm gonna mine a bunch of ice with that ship and I'm gonna fly to space. <laughs> and you can't stop me. Or until you do. Well... I, I made a mistake. can stop you. Now that I think of it, I forgot to add the connector to it. Well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Usually people forget about charters and here I am forgetting to build, forgetting above the connector Well at least my ship is functional So it's basically yeah, pop one thing down and that's all <laughs> uh, you know. are my... Oh wait, I have a lot of places where I can put, put the connector All of those guns 
turn off idle movement. Ah, yes. Turn off idle movement. My brother. Uh, what projector is this? This is a projector small. Yes. I'm gonna yoink the projector then. That's fine. Oh, wait. Can I pick up? Yeah. Mm. It's just turned off. It's got a pan miner loaded at the moment, but eh. Where is that actually? It's. yeah. Oh, it's, uh, Hey. How does it look? Chunky in in it. It looks like you took a pamima, a, a pamima, a pam miner, and said, "Yes, please, more of that." I guess. Uh, what? The only problem is the twin drills require superconductors. Where's the... Oh my god. <laughs> 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 One thing that the ship was meant to gather is its only weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a ship you don't use? Um. I can. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Well, let's just. Uh, this one. Oh, this one. This is the one that was meant to mine gold, right? Uh, that one is currently mining magnesium and stuff. The horizontal one is currently. Let me just slap another projector what down. Go nuts. Gotta play the uh, assembler clicker and catch all the steel plates as they're getting made. Oh yeah. Let's just spam that with small. Does the ship even have any assembled stuff in it? Oh, I see some conveyor pipes. Yeah. Question. How do you plan to enter? <laughs> I had actually thought of that. And it's over here. Yeah. Oh. oh this isn't it's only like 10 medical comps on this time. Yeah, that needs silver. We don't have any silver. No. You are. How could this be? This piece was the chosen one. Right. Ow. Okay. So those have been built. That's good. Let's get into here. Yes. Uh, I think I just need to add square brackets, pam, square bracket, uh, suffix name, there we go. And that should blacklist whitelist. What 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 Are you wondering how I did the replacing names on multiple things at the same time? What 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 
It's, uh, I think it's a mod or a plugin. So that was singing. Oh, okay. It, it just sounded like he was saying what. Yeah, so I was singing what, 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 what. Okay. Did you disable the door detector? Uh, no. No, we didn't. Can I not see your? We didn't build one. Oh, this is your old back, right? Yeah. How could this happen to me? <laughs> I made my mistakes. Give me my computer. Great, now I've got a moth in my room. Behind the moth, man. <laughs> right, okay. What? Not seen that before. We don't have any silver at all, I guess. Mine's on gold. This <laughs> place unusually cold, but no one left us. Let's do this. Let's go to the Huh. I just found um uh, just found that it's a mod not a script This is the same script I talked about before, to be honest. Or actually, it's in a mod form, but it's. This one doesn't have the controller as well, by the way. Oh, okay. And the reason why I asked about the jump drive is because this one actually mentions about the jump drive. to the cave ages. Hmm. I don't think something's incoherently wrong with Pam, I think something is wrong with the ship itself. 
Hmm. At least that's one I think. Example ships. Space and Moon. <sighs> it doesn't.
No, actually. Yeah. I'm actually wondering, is there any part of your ship that needs gold? Yeah, jump drives. Oh god, how much? Uh, well there's three of them, so... Fair bet. Oh, and they need superconductors as well. Can I just yoink some of the superconductors out of your jump drive if they build any? Because it would make our mining easier if I was to get my ship and just go mine the gold with that. Mm. Yeah, that's a fair bit of ice. I guess you have projection disabled. Uh, don't, uh, maybe. Need more bed repairs, probably. More assemblers, that's what. Yes. But adding more assemblers, that's that what you remember. You're gonna make like the space station have a corner that is filled with building repairs. Yeah. That is going to be a thing. Be surprised if it can even power a small craft with hydrogen. <laughs> yeah. I'm not joking. <laughs> to be nice, your ship kind of reminds me a cruiser. Thank you. Uh, I need to 
end this stream. Oh no. Yeah. The time has flown. No. Oh god, it's like zero points for me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to save. And exit. There is no war in Bossing <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, I need to go to sleep as well. I have school tomorrow. I will catch you later. Later? Alright, then you can use later then for me. And let's just do. You're gonna be on what time tomorrow? Uh. Hopefully sooner. But. Unknown. Okay. I guess you can't give me any estimations as well. Uh, probably around. like. <laughs> you should be able to see my Discord and Steam come online, but if it's 2 o'clock UK time and I'm not online, I might just be getting online sort of thing. Oh, okay. Actually, 2 o'clock... Uh, hmm. If it's 2 o'clock, then... I won't be go. online for a while, maybe. Of Either that or I'll try and get on at midday, but yeah. Because hey. it's uh, 10 for you, right? Yeah, I don't know. No? I will catch you later anyway. Okay. See you.